Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you another high intensity discharge light bulb collection video. Now the reason why the camera is a little yellow in the background of the video is because I'm using a Sylvania 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb is so I can show you the inside view of a couple coated metal halide bulbs that I'm going to show you in this video. So anyways, let's get started. This one here is a Luma Super 400 watt pulse start metal halide bulb. And as you can see, the arc tube is quite long. So as you can see, you can see the little tiny blob of mercury rolling around in the arc tube right there. That's to help the bulb start once it ignites from the igniter because it's a pulse start metal halide bulb, not probe start. So as you can see, it has the dimple on top for added support for the arc tube. Sorry about that, that was just the tingling sound of the dimple. It was just like, you know, vibrating on the, the glass of the bulb. There's the etch, it uses the M155 slash O ballast. So that's pretty cool. So I have two bulbs that are made by the same brand and they're both used. So that's pretty cool. So these three bulbs here are awesome and they're very good quality bulbs. They really are. So. I went to a Habitat for Humanity Restore in Peoria, Arizona, and I found this. This is my first ever low pressure sodium bulb, so here it is. So, as you can see, this is an Osram 18 watt low pressure sodium bulb. As you can see, the arc tube is a little blackened because it has been used, but this is a very nice bulb. And what's even cooler is that it even has a two pin bayonet base. So, you can see all the little blobs of sodium in there. That's to help the bulb start. And this bulb produces 1,800 lumens. It has an 18,000 hour lifetime. So that's pretty cool. And there's the etch, of course. Not sure what kind of ballast it uses, but if anybody knows what ballast you need to use this bulb on, let me know in the comments. So, that's pretty cool. Here we have a Philips 330 watt ceramic metal halide shielded bulb. So as you can see, it's an E37 shaped bulb. And as you can see, what's unique about the shield is that there's actually two layers of um, quartz. It's when the arc tube explodes, it explodes extremely violently like a firecracker. So there, there's two, outer, two layers of quartz for the shield is so it doesn't destroy the outer layer of the bulb and so it doesn't crack or anything like that. So let's take a look at the etch here. 330 watt uses the C185 slash O ballast. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. This is overall a very nice bulb. So there you go. And this one, this one here is a Philips 70 watt ceramic metal halide non-protected bulb. That means there's no shield around the arc tube. So as you can see, it is a very nice, good quality bulb. It's actually brand new. And um, here's the etch. It's a Philips 70 watt Alto metal halide ceramic bulb. So it uses the M143 slash E ballast. So that's pretty cool. There's the dimple on top for support for the arc tube and such. So there you go. And this one here is a GE 175 watt mercury vapor bulb in deluxe white. Now, if I try to show you the arc tube and such, if I try to point it in this bulb, you can't see the arc tube at all is because this coating is very strong. And if you didn't know, this is actually a phosphor coating. So this gives off a pink color when it starts, which is very cool. So let's take a look at the etch. You can see the GE logo, nice. So there's the symbol warning of mercury right there on your left. Uses the H39 ballast and there's the code right there. Made in China, not a surprise because that's a lot. A lot of stuff is made in China these days. And you can't recycle this bulb because the mercury particles may fly out and such. And this bulb may break as well. So that's pretty cool. Here we have a... um. Yu Shio 400 watt pulse start metal halide coated bulb. 
So let's take a look at the etch first. And it's printed in blue ink, which is unique. That's pretty cool. So as you can see, it is manufactured in March of 2003 because the base that it uses is an aluminum brace. So that's pretty cool. You can kind of see the arc tube a little bit if I point it at an angle like this. So sorry if it looks weird, but that's just the glass and that's how it's made in a factory and such. And speaking of that, this bulb was actually made in Germany, which is pretty cool. So there you go. I got this at a Habitat store in Phoenix, by the way. Here we have a Prolume 250 watt metal halide bulb. I normally see a lot of Prolume 175 watt metal halide, but this was a first as you can see, cause it's 250 watts. And there's the etch, I don't know if you can see it right there, but there it is. This was manufactured in January of 2004. So this is a very old bulb. This is 15 years old and it hasn't been used at all. And you can see the little tiny ball of mercury rolling in the arc tube and it's actually sticking to the arc tube. So that's pretty cool. Here you have a Sylvania 70 watt metal halide bulb. You can see the arc tube is super duper tiny. So it's shielded as you can see. So that's nice. There's the etch, uses the N98 slash O ballast. So there's the symbol warning of mercury. It's also called metal arc as well. So that's nice. So this last bulb here, yes, I know it's the same thing that I showed you about a month ago or so. This is actually a um, Venture Lighting 1000 watt metal halide bulb. I actually have another one of these fixtures. So anyway, here's my high intensity discharge light bulb collection video. So I hope you guys enjoyed.